What's up, fellow classers? It's Apollyon here, and I'm joining a, a, a clan called Rebels Force. Uh, one of my subscribers has been subscribed for a long time, asked that I come stop by, do a quick little war recap, show what they did. Um, and I haven't done some other non-WHF material, so I thought I'd show an attack that maybe you all are, uh, you know, that are watching see from time to time or run into from time to time as just a random spin. Rebels Force taking the victory, 43-42 on a 15v15 war broken down with two town hall tens three nine fives five town hall nines and a couple lower against two town hall 10.5s a town hall 10 uh one nine point five and five town hall nines and a couple lower than that so we're going to jump into some of the attacks if you guys would like to you know join these guys uh, i'm sure jim will con put his uh, comment down in the video and show exactly how you can there's their clan right there so let's go ahead and look at some of the attacks we'll look at number one first um and i don't know if i showed the war results there we go um so the total destruction was really favoring laying in the wood but they just couldn't pull out the uh, the star victory. And stars are what wins wars. So let's look at this one. And this is a three-star hit um, on a ring base. Not the best design base, but again, you guys probably are running into this. And I'm going to not try to nitpick or, or criticize too harshly. Just let's see if we can improve the hits, right? Good strategy of a queen walk from six to three with the, you know, the queen with the healers right there. I would drop one Valkyrie and bring um, four more wall breakers. And I'll show you where and why in just a second and uh, obviously be careful when you're trying to break in wall breakers with your kill squad uh, into a wizard tower and uh, mortar as we'll see in just a second but everything's going very very well I think we're going to use a rage right here now that hog um, you needed to hold the hog for a little bit uh, wait till the, the queen gets aggro to that cannon and then you can drop the hog right at the cannon and it will hit the cannon break the cannon and go to the next one and be right there okay so didn't get the clan castle lore and that's I think what we wanted to do with that now at this point you've got the archer tower and the um cannon on top of you and that's perfect because you can drop your wall breakers right between that builder hut and the barracks at three o'clock break the queen into that compartment she'll go ahead and she won't walk all the way around the healers will be out of range of that air defense right there um by the time she gets there she'll target those first and then we'll go ahead and and um take care of that instead of losing all the healers at that point and uh kind of losing that queen walk so we'll speed things up a little she starts walking all the way around she gets to this barracks she gets there and now look at this they're already in range she's walking around nowhere near that air defense um they all get taken out and uh, using that rage just to try to get the most amount of benefit but there isn't really any point defenses even hitting the queen to be uh um, to healed so unfortunately kind of wasted rage there and uh really late poison as well but uh i think that king is going to be taken care of in just a second now dropping the giants here with uh, some of the bowl the king and the bowlers um you've got to be careful going right into that wizard tower and uh, mortar just drop the, the giants a little more offset to where you want to wall break in or break in a little higher or lower and uh, it'll help you that way so we're not going to get the wall break but the bowlers have the uh, the splash damage to be able to take out what we really need to in order to get those valkyries in and there we go with the Valkyrie, one Valkyrie to break open the wall. And we've got pretty much the worst clan castle we could ask for against just naked Valkyries or whatever you want to call Valkyries with no air support or, or, or air targeting support. So, But fortunately, under Rage, they're just going to go like, completely eat up that core and bust out before those loons and baby dragons can do too much of a damage. But imagine if you were taking out that clan castle and you broke in. Um, that would have been a three, without a question. That was a three-star hit. So uh, let's go to number three and see uh, the bowlers and witch attack. See, this is why we do this at Town Hall 9, because it definitely prepares us when we go to Town Hall 10. This is a viable attack at Town Hall 10. And we're going to speed things up to uh, two times speed, actually, and just watch the attack go through. We dropped the jump there. Now, I would recommend dropping wall, bre wall breakers and then dropping the jump a little bit more into the core to get that push. Uh, instead of having to use those two jumps, you would be able to use the two jumps and get all the way from one end of the base to the other. Four troop space is just a bowler and uh, like a couple archers or a minion. So it's definitely um, 
it's worth doing that instead but uh, we've got everything going through here i mean it is a three-star hit so that's uh, you know it, it was done correct but uh can always improve a little bit more and when you go against these max town hall tens or a lot higher defense town hall tens every troop space counts and every every spell that you use counts so um got to get used to that all right very nice hit on number four, Shattered Go Hobo. Um, the only thing I would recommend is bringing a jump. Anytime you're going more than cold blood at one golem, if you're bringing two golems or more, definitely bring a jump to hold their hand and tell them where you want them to go, kind of like you have to do with Valks. Now, um, going to bring the wall breakers. Good job with that. The, the golem is offset, and I'm going to show you what I mean in just a second by doing that. Um, here we go. And look at the lower heroes. It's great to see t uh, 12 and 14 heroes with level two golems. But at this point, you've got the, the golem right here. He doesn't know where to go, so he's going and attacking the, um, the uh, cannon because that's the closest thing to him. And this other golem is going to go for the other cannon while the Valks are actually tanking for the golems. The, um, and it's just not the situation you want to see. Dropping a jump there between that uh, air defense and the king tower would tell those golems, hey, you guys step it up and go around and tank for my kill squad and uh you'd get you've had your bowlers king queen tanks for and they'd get a lot more value than just standing in front of defenses getting pounded all day and you get a lot more benefit out of them but we've got um a bunch of hogs with three heels to push through this base so we'll go ahead and speed through this and uh, see what's going on here getting uh, nice heels at those spots and with the splash damage and giant bombs and a uh, very nice hit Again, three-star hits, man. That's what it's about. I love seeing the, the 12, 14 heroes. A lot of the viewers ask, hey, can we do this with lower heroes? Do we need to have 30, 30, 25, 25 heroes? You just took a, a pretty high-level base uh, with the lower heroes, and that's fantastic. Let's go a little bit back old school to HGHB. Still a very viable attack at this point. And we're dropping all of our giants there with the four healers behind them. We brought, brought a couple Valks just to go ahead and uh, just lay waste to some of these things and take out some of these defenses as well as uh, going in and taking out that queen super fast. Got bowlers coming in from behind. Um, two jumps, two, I mean, sorry, two heals, two rages for this kill squad. And those Valkyries will shed, shred through those walls pretty quickly. So we've got... Um, a rage junk coming in, he, uh, healing up those uh, the kill squad from those healers in rage, and we've got bowlers kind of splitting up, and um, then we've got hogs coming in from nine o'clock with two heals behind them. Now we can use those heals for the bowlers in the core, or we can use those heal heals for the hogs. It's a very versatile attack. And uh, we haven't used any yet so far, so we're still holding on to this. There we go with our first heal, and the bowlers will step into that, or at least one or two of them will, so that's uh, good. And then the hogs will be healed up there, and then we've got another heal that uh, has to be put down because of that giant bomb. And we've got the giants uh, pretty much tanking the rest of the defenses there, and uh, the king and queen will be able to come out there full health. Queen uh, does not even need to use the ability, so kind of swag the ability there. Good job. All right, just a couple more to look at. Number eight, we're going to check out a cold-blooded La Loon. And very, very cool tack here. Just want to see you funnel a little bit better. So you see all those those outside buildings, uh, outside trash buildings, the elixir uh, the containers and the gold mines. Um, your golem is going to jump in. Everything else is not because they're all going to start taking out all those sides. So drop that golem in there first with the poison to poison the queen. Then drop all those wizards behind. And then as soon as they get all of that, uh, those buildings cleaned up, then drop your jump afterwards. And then you won't have your bowlers and king start walking away from the rest of the kill squad. Because I know you want to get into that core and start taking out some of those things. But uh, it's not going to happen. Uh, just didn't do a funneling job with that. So anyway, the king does decide to come back because I think of that kill squad. But the bullers are going to do their own thing. And then we've got uh, three lava hounds uh, that are going to be able to tank for these four air defenses. Pretty soon I think the queen is going to get one or two of them. And uh, I think a bowler as well. And um, yeah, there she goes. So we can start our La Loon portion. Here we go with the loons behind it and the other one and then we've got our third one going in there and uh, just pushing them along with the heel 
Fortunately, we are at lower level Teslas, so uh, we've got two hounds that have not popped, and it's uh, kind of up to the uh, loons to take care of the rest of the base with a couple of pups, but it's not a problem. So, very nice. Now, um, I wanted to show, because I haven't done this in so long, it's showing the Town Hall 8 attack, and it's so nice to show some of the, the Town Hall 8 attacks or lower, because I never get a chance to do them on uh with with our normal war so let's go ahead and check out the first one using a zap quake drag loon on this base we're going to drop the zap quake on the uh nine o'clock uh, uh air defense with the sweeper as well and then we're going to send our dragons in from three to six now the only thing i would recommend is um that clan castle full of max loons is it kind of goes to complete waste on this attack you don't want your loons tanking for your dragons you want the opposite you want your dragons tanking for the loons and i know you want to go ahead and get those loons to take care of that air defense but unfortunately until they get into range of one of those dragons um they're not going to be able to so we drop our loons in super early and uh, they're going to be targeted by that archer tower and air defense which is going to completely wipe them out as well as that clan castle coming in there so everything's just going to wipe those loons out they don't even get close to that air defense so um, unfortunately throwing away 25 troop space is not what you want to do at town hall 10 or town hall 8. so again recommending as soon as that archer tower and the air defense gets on one of those dragons send those loons in right behind them and uh, they'll jump in that rage that you've dropped down there and they'll go go right for that air defense and take it out and uh, everything will be cool but um, it doesn't you know it doesn't matter too much you, you crush the base here but again just maximizing your troops everything is building and foundation baby steps for the next uh, town hall that you're looking for and maybe you hit the base and you wonder why you didn't get the three star or what you could have done better but uh, you definitely have a, um, a good uh, a good hit on this this uh, base so very nicely done and the last one is going to be number 13 and it's going to be a mass hog so again using lower level heroes level six level seven kings that's fantastic really good job of getting that uh, clan castle dropping that poison um just you know perfectly done making sure those those troops get you know go walk through that poison maybe trying to get them to dropping a couple barbs in that center there to keep them in that core is a good idea but uh, very nicely done taking that out and then just doing a basically a, a Asian wall spam of hogs but you've got three heels to go ahead and take care of these things um, getting them through the core and uh, healing them up and just watching out for those giant bombs uh, everything's going through it looks like there probably would be uh, one more giant bomb we have to worry about and uh, might actually be outside that heel but we'll see in just a second there it is okay you caught it right there in that little bit so very nicely done and then it's just about cleaning up right now and hogs are the best cleanup troop in the game so they're going to be able to handle that so a uh, good job to rebels for us um you know hopefully you guys enjoyed this video not seeing max 30 30 heroes 40 40 heroes all the same all the time going against these things um you know go, like i show i know it's good to, to show what you guys will probably run into from time to time so again uh like subscribe if you haven't already i appreciate all the subscribers uh we're gonna do something for 5,000 subscribers pretty soon but anyway um go ahead and share them with your clan mates if you guys are enjoying uh, these attacks enjoy the uh the the content i'm sure they'll enjoy it and benefit from it as well go ahead use your friendly challenges to your advantage go ahead practice those six star uh uh, or three star hits get those six star clan wars and uh two, those three star attacks